Hi, I'm Stacy Tetchner, CEO of the National Speakers Association. But today I'm coming to you in my role as the Executive Director of the NSA Foundation. I am excited to introduce you to a video series created by the Foundation that features 10 NSA leading ladies who have served as President of the Association during the last 43 years. This series will feature unique insights and stories from these leading ladies on the crucial roles they played in NSA's history and development. Everything will culminate with an in-person reception and fundraising event at Influence 2016 in Phoenix. I look forward to seeing you there. I believe, I truly believe that this is a type of home for many people. And I hope I had some impact in helping people recognize whatever package they come in, whatever size they are, whatever language they speak, that this is one place that people truly could come, grow professionally, and have their lives changed in a positive way if they're open to it. Well, because I started my, my business and my speaking career in Arizona, I had the time, I had the opportunity not only to have met Cavett personally, but to have gotten to know him because his daughter, Lee Robert, and I became very best friends. So I think I understood the Cavett spirit at a deeper level than maybe some who never met him or, um, you know, wasn't, didn't have an opportunity to be within NSA while he was still alive. And so consequently, what that made me realize was in being in his space and listening to his and speak just informally. I got a clearer understanding of what building a bigger pie was. And to me, building that bigger pie had to do with truly not caring who got the credit, but figuring a way to enable more people to join this family. You know, back when I was president, the, the presidents had the option, they didn't have to, but they had the option of having a strategic initiative. And so once I became vice president and I had two years to prepare for the presidency, and I was thinking of what might mine be and should I have one. And then I realized that the magazine, which back then was called Professional Speaker Magazine, was getting a little tired. So I decided to make that my strategic initiative. And what we did is I commissioned, so to speak, a task force external to NSA that were all experts in magazine design and had them come back to us to say uh, what would make this magazine great. So I remember that because that magazine, which is now Speaker Magazine, has laid the foundation for the magazine to win awards almost every year it's been in existence since then. Advice for future leaders in speaking in particular, and in this organization in particular, I believe is to not fall in love with wanting to be a leader, but rather focus on the service you can provide to this profession and to the individuals in it. Because from my experience, because I never imagined I would have become NSA, an NSA president, um, uh, my experience is that when you do the best you can do in your profession, in speaking, and then also in serving the profession, that the doors will open at the right time for the right reasons, and you'll be ready.